It's rowdy here in Fist Energy Stadium. Even though the economy is a mess in this city, these are some of the best sports fans in the country. I heard things were so bad that Leave the Casino was turned into an Indian reservation, Grim. Yeah, why don't you just open a window and take a leak all over the fans? This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The Baltimore Razors take on the Cleveland Burns. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Newtons, I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milf lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And he picks up the loose ball and rumbles into the end zone for the score. Nice going. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. A good run for five yards. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. And on some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. He just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets a turnover. 
Briggs, you were hit more than a few times like that in your career. 140 times to be exact, and one game to be more exact. During one play to be more and more exact. It wasn't even a game, actually. Coach just laid into me on the sidelines. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he's off to the races. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's parts. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer. And it's first and ten. Hot. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team. Like Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Deflection. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. I got yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot nine. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And he's running like a moose right now. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Hot. 
Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fast. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. First down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And he laterals the ball. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and he just turns enormous. Look out! And the quarterback finds his man for the... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you broke free with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. three-yard pickup. Oh. 
Second down and seven. God, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak. Oh, man, Brooks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Second down and a lock. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. Uh, I didn't want to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more reception. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo grip. That's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? And it's first and ten. He turned into a mutant fireball with that Claymon dirty trick. And anything he touches get boom, dead and he's on fire. Yeah, he must have just eaten some of those death ways they serve on the concourse. The 30. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on. Move your ass. I got a sub up riding on this asshole. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? This defender is not going to be stopped. Once he picked up that loose ball, he was going to score or die trying. Luckily for him, he scores! <laughs> Burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can 
keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Briggs. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Briggs. You're an idiot. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed, it was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. I can't keep a good mutant down. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time. right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does. No, oh, that's got to hurt. Snatched in midair by the worm. They say that the early one gets the mutant, and he got all of him. Oh, look, he's spitting the plates out. Oh, he probably thought it was an earthquake. I bet he wishes he was right. In between being digested, that is. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I'm wrong. I take all you mutants out. That's right. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turn on the light and... He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> The 
offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and seven. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably even intercepted, though. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. They get their hands up and block the pass. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And he held on to that one for a first down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And that is caught for a first down. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? Smash a clock! That's not a great enemy! We're not talking about waking up with a crack the dude. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a thrown athlete, man! You mean aside from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? He's at the 30. He could go all the... And never mind. Oh! See what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. like ground up use it on pesky weeds or neighbors and they'll be gone by morning
The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull Clap and Vodka Jello shot day. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Well, B, five, four, four. I, and the one. defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Yeah, move, baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. They used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on screen. He damn near blew my face off. That was before the class even started. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Third down and, well, good luck. Another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to play like total shit. No argument. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. 
two. Hot. At least the mortician did. He's coming out on the field now. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside to the tank. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The Cleveland Burns got their asses kicked and handed to them today and lose by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.